Hi, I'm Randy. I'm from Indiana. I've been a Republican voter for uh, going on uh, more than 30 years now. Uh, I'm a Christian nearly 20 years. I must say that I will not, I have never, nor will I ever vote for Donald Trump for president. I don't think he's worthy of the office of the presidency uh, for numerous reasons, uh, which we'll go into. Number one, I'm a pro-life Christian, conservative, constitutionalist voter. Uh, I don't think Donald Trump fits any of these. Uh, in fact, uh, he is he has declared that he has never had to ask God forgiveness, which tells me that he's not a Christian. Uh, there is no indication that he has ever changed, uh, despite what some people might say. Um, he shows uh, on a consistent basis that he is not pro-life. He might say he's pro-life, but when you ignore a pandemic that is on the verge of uh, killing almost 200,000 Americans, and that number is still increasing uh, at an alarming rate, uh, and he just says, that, well, the death rate, it is what it is. Uh, that tells me that he is not pro-life. He does not care. Uh, he might say that he cares about the uh the life of the unborn, yet I, you know, in an interview when he says that he's pro-choice in every respect and he still hasn't become a Christian, that tells me that he hasn't changed. Uh, but when he ignores a pandemic that's killing so many Americans and it's and it's and it hasn't slowed down, that tells me that he is not pro-life. Uh, why uh, uh, any evangelical Christian would uh, decide to vote for Donald Trump it just boggles my mind. He knows nothing about the Bible, uh, the Bible that clearly teaches in the book. Of, I mean, the book of Proverbs is teaches just about everything uh, against Donald Trump. Yet uh, evangelical Christians still think that he's uh, pro. Oh, he's pro life, and that's the only thing that matters. I'll tell you a few other things. Uh, does he care about the the service and sacrifice of American soldiers? Uh, I don't believe he does. I, I believe that the uh, the story in the Atlantic, the recent story, uh, I believe I believe that when it was published, I did believe what it said based on his past uh, behaviors and things that he said about other people. He doesn't seem to compliment anybody that isn't on his side. Um, it doesn't surprise me. Yet it, it's been verified. Of course, he dismissed it as fake news. Uh he does not support the First Amendment. He he uh, automatically dismisses any reporting that's against him. He doesn't uh, appreciate the fact that the First Amendment is set up to protect Americans. They hold uh, public officials accountable in their questioning, and they're allowed to do that. Uh, the government may not restrict that, yet he suggested before that he wants to restrict any negative uh, publicity against him. Uh, Second Amendment, he he has uh, shown that he wants to, he, he suggested it more than once, that he would rather confiscate guns and have due process later uh, to, to confiscate people's, uh, people's guns, uh, law-abiding citizens' guns before due process. That's illegal. That's against the Second Amendment. The right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Uh, he has uh, ignored and dismissed the Constitution. He's not a constitutionalist. Uh, to say that he is, is you're just making things up. Uh, I do not think he's worthy of the office. I don't think any Republican that supports him, uh, senators, representatives, any of these people that ignored the quid, pro, the obvious quid pro quo with the Ukrainian president. And they just, you just ignore it because he's a Republican. That is not good. That is not good. None of you, none of the Republicans in this round are worthy. None of them are worthy of my vote. Uh, therefore, I'm voting for Joe Biden for president this time. I will be looking for anyone opposing any representative or senator that's up for reelection in my district. Uh, they'll, they're going to be getting a vote against the Republican will see a vote against them uh, by a Republican voter. That's just all there is to it. Thank you for your time.